गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द जनरल एनाटमी इन दिस सेशन बिफोर दैट देर इज एन अपडेट दैट आवर यूट्यूब चैनल हैज चेंज टू द अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स सो फ्रॉम नाउ एवरी वीडियो विल बी अपलोडेड दैट विल बी अवेलेबल टू यू ऑन द यूट्यूब इन द नेम ऑफ द अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स इट इज सेम एज द इंस्टा आई डी ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो इन द इंस्टा विद द अपकमिंग डॉक्टर्स एंड यू कैन हैव द नोट्स देर and coming to the video we have already completed the sesamoid bones epiphysis of the long bone and the metaphysis of the bone in the previous sessions and coming to the fourth question the atavistic type of epiphysis it is also covered in the second video that is about epiphysis of long bone now in this session we are going to discuss about the blood supply of long bone now this is the blood supply of long bone i had drawn a diagram which shows all the arteries that will supply to the long bone and mainly four arteries are present that will supply they are neutral artery periosteal arteries epiphyseal arteries and metaphyseal artery let us discuss each artery in detail the neutral artery it will enter the shaft through the neutral foramen runs obliquely through the cortex and divides into the ascending and the descending branches while entering into the medullary cavity now the neutral artery will uh, enter the neutral foramen and it will uh, it will pass through the cortex and then enters the medullary cavity you can show you can see the cortex and the medullary cavity in the diagram which has been labeled so in the medullary cavity two branches are divided one is ascending branch another one is the descending branch the ascending branch will ascend up and descending branch will descend down and the neutral artery will supply the medullary cavity as it dividing into the branches there and in the two thirds of the cortex also supplied by this and metaphysis the neutral artery is directed away from the growing end now this is a very important point that you should remember the neutral foramen will be present and uh, it will be directed away from the growing end and now what does it mean here we can see the in the diagram the epiphyseal plate of cartilage is represented on the upper end of the bone so now that is the growing end then the neutral foramen will be directed away from the growing end that means towards the lower end of the bone and coming to the upper limb and the lower limb we have different directions of the neutral foramen let us get discussed the growing ends of the bone in the upper limb are the upper ends of the humerus and the lower ends of radius and ulna so neutral foramen will be opposite to this so away from the growing ends no that will cause towards the elbow the direction will be towards the elbow now this is the diagram in the upper limb we can see the neutral foramen is directed both the uh, arrow marks are showing towards the elbow while in lower limb they are showing away from the knee joint okay and now what does it mean in the lower limb the lower end of the femur and the upper end of the tibia are the growing ends and neutral foramen will be away from the knee you can remember with the jungle that is flee from the knee okay now this is the adult bone adult skeleton so this is the upper end of the humerus and this is the lower end of the humerus okay and uh, coming to the radius and ulna these are the upper ends of the radius and ulna these are the lower ends of the radius and ulna clear and coming to the point the growing ends are the growing ends are upper end of the humerus and the lower end of radius and ulna definitely the nutrient foramen will be away from the growing ends like this no that's why this is towards the elbow okay towards the elbow this is all about the upper limb and coming to the lower limb we can see the femur bone is present this is the femur bone and this is the tibia and the fibula which are present okay this are the tibia and the fibula which are present and uh, this is the upper end of the femur and this is the lower end of the femur this is the upper end of the tibia and this is the lower end of the tibia and coming to the what are the growing ends the growing ends are lower end of the femur and the these are the growing ends okay these both are growing ends and definitely the neutral foramen will be away from the growing ends so like this it will be you can remember like this flee from the knee flee means away from the knee okay this is all about the neutral foramen which is present and the direction of the neutral foramen in the upper limb and the lower limb okay and coming to the second arteries that is the periosteal arteries these are very numerous in number we can see in the diagram the periosteal arteries which are shown okay and then these arteries beneath are present beneath the muscular and the ligamentous attachments and they will supply to the outer one third of the cortex and now from this you can remember the cortex is divided into outer one third and uh, inner two third of the cortex outer one third will be supplied by the periosteal arteries and inner two third of the cortex and the medullary cavity will be supplied by 
yes mutual artery and coming to the third type of artery that is the epiphyseal arteries again you can see in the diagram these are the epiphyseal arteries which are present and supplies to the epiphyses and now these are derived from periarticular vascular arcades now you should remember this periarticular vascular arcades and they are found on the non articular bony surface which means the articular non articular means it doesn't takes part in the joint formation and now here numerous vascular foramina will be present only few will admit the arteries uh, the epiphyseal and the metaphyseal arteries and rest all are the venous exits and coming to the fourth type of the arteries these are the metaphyseal arteries these are derived from neighboring systemic vessels and they pass directly into the metaphyses because they are metaphyseal arteries no that's why and reinforces reinforces means will strengthen the metaphyseal branches from the primary artery that is the nutrient artery in adults and we have the clinical correlation in adults the chance of infection is minimized because the nutrient artery is mostly replaced by the periosteal arteries now you should remember this point in adults there will be no almost uh, the nutrient artery is replaced by the periosteal arteries so the infection will be minimized this is all about the video the blood supply of the long bone hope the concept is cleared and please subscribe to the channel and like share and uh, share among your friends so that i'll get confidence to do new videos also and follow the insta id that is the upcoming doctors and join the telegram channel the description in the description the link is given and thank you so much for your support thank you